She's my baby. She my baby though. We get lit. We get lit. But she can't claim me. Don't claim me. She's not with me. This man thought he was doing a phenomenal thing. He invited his future wife's favorite singer to serenade her on his behalf. But what happened made him the forgotten man. For a moment, she forgot he was there. And even worse than that, she dropped to her knees in submission to this singer. Let's take a look at this video, man, and we'll come back and chop it up on the real tip. When you decide you're going to marry a woman, it is one of the greatest risks that you could ever take as a man. Now, as men, we all want it to work out. We all would like to have a woman who's worthy of that. And if we found one, we would probably put her in the wife position, just being honest. All of the red pill rhetoric aside. But it is such a grave thing to do because it could go horribly wrong at some point. But in this situation, it went horribly wrong on the wedding day. Now, when you see something like this, you know, a lot of people can look and say, well, she was just excited to see the man and all of that. And I get her being excited. That's exactly the reason that her husband invited her favorite singer, because he knew that it would have the effect. But he didn't know all of this time where he was playing these songs and she was saying these songs and she was singing these songs that she was not singing them to him. She was singing them to the actual singer himself. If this woman was really into her husband, hearing these songs would have made her think about all of the love that she supposedly, purportedly had for the man. But obviously, she doesn't have much love for him at all because this is one of the most egregious displays of you don't really matter in my life. I'm just marrying you because you're the man who wants to marry me and you're my best option. I tell you men all the time, you never want to be her best option because her best option is never the option she truly wants. Think about what's the number one complaint that women have when it comes to relationships, how they kept going back to the man, about how the man kept cheating, about how the man kept being abusive, about how the man kept doing this and kept doing that. See, the only way someone can keep doing something is if you keep going back, allowing them to do it. But how many times have you seen a woman who has divorced the man who was her best option, not a preferred option, who was her best option, and then go back to him again? Not once. She'll marry you and stay with you for 20 years and you can treat her like a queen the entire time. She'll divorce you once and move on with her life. But she'll go through her life and have these relationships over and over with these men who mean her no good. And then she'll choose you. That's why I tell you, don't worry about a woman's uh, sexual history as much as you worry about her emotional history. Y'all worry about body count. I'm worrying about mental count, emotional count. How much emotional and mental damage has been done? Because when you get into a situation, it is easy to believe that you are the apple of a woman's eyes. But to be perfectly honest with you, most married men are not the apple of their wife's eye, man. Some other man has long ago been the apple of her eye. You got to think about it. When a woman enters a relationship and she really wants to be in a relationship with a man, she wants that fairy tale ending. But by the time she's tried that two, three, four, five, ten times, she doesn't want that fairy tale ending anymore. 
She's just so used to pursuing and she's dedicated so much time to it that she just wants it. It seems like that's what she should get now. It's like if you go to school for four years, you want your degree. You don't want to go to school for four years and then they tell you, well, you got four more. And then they tell you, well, you got four more. You want your degree after four years. And so if you go four more years, you want another degree. So that's the same thing with a woman, man. So when you see a woman behaving like this, man, this is a telltale sign that this woman is simply marrying the man who wanted to marry her. She's not a bad looking chicken. She doesn't look old, but she doesn't look young either. So whatever has happened, she is looking at the man that she's about to marry. And for you to forget about your groom on the wedding day, there's no forgiving that. There's no explaining that away. It is a serious display of, I just don't care about you. You don't mean a lot to me. And I'm going to tell you like this, I can guarantee you that this isn't the first time that she's displayed this type of energy toward this man. See, let me tell y'all something, man. By the time a relationship gets bad, it's been getting bad for months. So if you've been in a relationship for a year and y'all break up, the relationship was getting bad six months ago. People don't just wake up one day after they've invested time, effort, and energy into a relationship and walk away immediately. That's why I tell you, man, don't invest too much of yourself into a situation because here's a situation where this man thought this was the woman he should marry. And at this entire time, she has been fantasizing about this guy. See, I don't deal with women who are not my groupie. A woman's going to be a groupie to somebody, but if she ain't my groupie, then I don't want her. Certainly not for anything serious. So I tell you, man, the reason that you have to deal with women who are unplugged from all of these things, because the more plugged in she is, the more in tune she is with this type of behavior. And there were a lot of women in the comments who didn't see anything wrong with it. I, granted, there were some women who were like, no, that's wrong. But there were many women in the comments who were like, no, nah, well, it's OK. Um, you know, I well, you know, that's her favorite singer. He's, she's still going to marry him like she's doing him some favor. Once you give me this type of display, you are not doing me a favor marrying me. I'm doing myself a disservice by marrying you. That would have been it. Now, some guys that I know from Nigeria, man, some of my some of my Nigeria Alphasphere guys, they are let me know that, you know, that's a Nigerian wedding. Right. And so this is a Nigerian couple. And, you know, most of the people in Nigeria really gave them a tough time. And even down to the groom's family, like, why didn't you guys stop this at that point? You know, you know, when you see a woman who does not want to be with a man and who does not respect that man, who does not adore that man, who does not appreciate that man. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, man. You can't look at anything that we think about the whole physicality thing because her groom was taller than the guy so we're not talking about height we're talking about this is the man that she fantasizes about and dreams about this is the man that she would like to spend time with so when y'all guys be talking about these weddings you let your old lady have a bachelor party and all that oh you have you let your old lady have a bachelorette party and all that man let me tell you something bro even if I did legally marry a woman, there would be no bachelorette party, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a cousin who was a who was a who was an adult entertainer, man, and he told me how he used to go down at those bachelorette parties and all that, man. And he said, man, listen, it just ain't no way, ain't no way he would even marry a woman who wanted to have a bachelor party. Now he's married now, and guess what? He married a woman who didn't want to have a bachelorette party. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't have a bachelor party because when you think about it, man, a bachelorette party is a celebration of the life you used to have and a going away like sad party for the life you're about to have it's not a celebration of being married it's one last time to celebrate being single so when you think about that man i can't tell you how many men that i've spoken with how many couples that i've spoken with where the woman has admitted that she wasn't feeling the man and she never did love him and the man at the same time is telling me he's head over heels in love with the woman it's a sad thing for a man to be in a situation that is not emotionally charged while he's emotionally attached. If a woman is somehow emotionally attached to you and you're emotionally attached to her, that could possibly work out in your favor and hers. But if you are emotionally attached to her and she's not emotionally attached to you, it's going to fail. It's never going to work. And I want you men to understand that. And so later on tonight, what we'll do, man, we'll 
go a little bit deeper into this and I give you 10 reasons why you are marrying the wrong woman. If you if that's something you want to do, because many men still want a wife. You understand? Now, I'm not going to legally marry a woman, but I would love to have a woman in the wife position, man. I would love it. If a woman could fit into that position in my life, I would absolutely love to have her in it. The problem is, it's hard to meet one who understands that that position is a full time job. Even if this woman felt this way about this singer, she should have had enough cool. She should have had enough respect for her husband. She should have had enough self-awareness to not go this far over the ledge. She went completely over the ledge, man. And even when he picked her up off the floor, she still went back and grabbed the man again. Two more times. Like she just wanted to touch that man. She wanted, she had been dreaming of that her entire time, knowing that man's songs, man. She had been dreaming of being held by that man. He wouldn't hold her, but she held him. And I'm telling you, man, the husband, man, poor guy, man, he was just sitting there looking so disgusted, man. He was sitting there looking like when he picked her up off the floor, you could tell he was frustrated with her display. When he picked her up and she ran back into the man's arms, you see the look of exasperation on his face, man. At that point, the wedding would have been called off. No amount of pressure, no amount of lecture, no amount of gesture was going to make me marry that woman at that point because she did not deserve to be a wife. Not his wife. She may have deserved to be the wife or the singer, but she didn't deserve to be his wife. Man, let me tell you something. If your woman has that energy to any man, whether it's an ex, whether it's, you know, a baby daddy, whether it's a, you know, an RB singer, whether it's a rapper, whether it's an athlete, whether it's the pastor at the church, you have got to understand that her allegiance cannot be to you when her desire is to someone else. A woman's allegiance is to her desires. The desires of her heart, the desires of her flesh, the desires of her mind, the desires of her emotions, her allegiance is to her desires. She would rather feel good than live good. She would rather be with a man with a million followers than a man with a million dollars. She needs these things. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's a true thing. So before you make a move like this, I want you men to remember one thing. You owe it to yourself to protect yourself. And remember, when we say health is wealth, that includes mental health. And in order to properly live the rest of your life in the proper mindset, you are going to have to understand that there are going to be some tough lessons and there's going to be some tough decisions to make. And for this guy, his toughest decision should be calling this wedding off right now. I don't care who spent what. Chalk it up to the game. Let the people go ahead and eat the food at the reception. Because you can make the money back. But you can't get your self-respect and dignity back. And what this was is a woman who disrespected you to the point where to continue with her would be the end of your self-appreciation, self-love, self-respect. And I want that for all of you men to have the utmost self-love, self-respect, self-worth, because God knows the world does enough to try to pull it away from you. You certainly can't sleep in the bed every night with a woman who helps the world when she should be loyal to helping you in the process of your progress. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. Subscribe on the way out. Peace.